update. Right now I'm in the fastest quarter mile 370Z in the world. It's loud as hell and it's gutted. It's gonna be the first 11 second naturally aspirated 370Z. We're gonna try and hit that record this weekend. Um, but I gotta drive this to Tampa so because we're gonna get this car tuned as well. And it's just gonna be a flash tune and we're gonna flash tune the transmission. Seatbelt barely works. It's a Kirky, so my ass is on fire. And uh, yeah, all I hear is fucking metal. So. Yeah. Alright, so we're decently on schedule. There's just a lot of traffic. I think they're like honestly not that far ahead of me. I might have caught up to them to be completely honest. I just really want my car on the dyno. I really want to get my ass out of this fucking Kirky seat. Look at all these Q50s, Q60s. It's just a graveyard of them, dude. Too late. Shut the no, no, don't try to start the car. Put it. Do you understand how to work a vehicle? Just leave it like right there. Is this the 240ZX that Blue was talking about? That he's had here forever? No, they'll go away. No, they're wet. They're wet. What? This is your car, your trailer. Fucking put it back together. Let's go. I've, do you have a string or something? I forgot to bring a belt. It's untuned. It's the untuned. brakes squeak like fuck. It's good they have Shh. Shh. You're ruining my deal, bro. I, really I had your back when you got that fucking yeah, Volkswagen, brakes, didn't I? The brakes are fucked. Your brakes are fucked. It could have been so much worse of a drive. The Kirky is actually oh, sweet, not VQ. Really comfortable. How sweet, a VQ. Great. Is it an HR? Don't get these. I don't know. Hey. What? This is your day. You can do the work, not me. This is my day? Me and Ronnie are here to watch. You fucking do the work. Wait, where? We'll walk down to Turbo Toys and annoy them. Yeah, you can yeah. get your screen. Can we do that? You want to go see if they have a screen? Yeah, I do. Thank you, Ronnie. Okay. That would be cool if I bring a camera in there, right? I don't know. Oh look, it's oh, Santa Claus. Shot. The hood, dog. It's what they do, dude. it's a fucking Q graveyard, dude. Yeah, that's what they do here. Do you know how, dude? I could probably. Let's just buy a salvage. Do you get it? Well, we're going to. Why don't you just get it now? What? Just wait till we get down there. Hold on. I don't feel like. No, just ignore him. Just don't say anything. No. She was actually cuter than her Facebook such a shows. Child. I'm in suspense. I need the part number. We have to pull his old one. Just go on YouTube. We don't have a filter. Well, not we here, but have this. shit. And that's it. We go to your house. Where's I'll my take knife? It out. Give me my knife. Before you end up stealing it like Chad did. Yeah, because I will. Here, Ronnie. Thank you. Yep. I like your watch. Thank you. Oh. Ten, it's Apple. You never You're only wore supposed it, to say, right? bro. I wear it. You know, you're only supposed to tell people you like their watch while they're peeing next to you in a stall. Yeah. And then you tell them, hey, I like your watch. Bro, I already That's... told Rome I'm I'm stealing his car for the drive home. <laughs> he didn't even get to drive it. That's sad. No, because we did all the work. We we told you we get to drive. <laughs> guys, don't worry. I found something while you guys were gone, lollygagging. I <laughs> to turn this. Check it. That's not the right. Oh, this fucking it's no. It's this one. It's this car. one. Yeah, that's fine. Fucking mints! <laughs> fucking mints! Oh no. Oh, she's oh, no. stuck. So is Chad Z going on first? No, he's no not we're going moving. I know, he's just tuning it. Dude, Martin shows up chilling. Showed up in the bathing suit and flip flops. That's the man. When you're the goat, you can do what you when want. When you're the goat, he's. Man. Come here. Come here. 
Legend, it's mine. It'll be fine. It'll be good, It'll like be you're fine. halfway on it, halfway off. That's fucking sick. Go answer the phone. My, my phone needed a bell like that. You, why'd you, who closed that? Who closed what? The hood. I did. Uh, how am I going to adjust the fuel pressure? How dare you? Is your you? key still there? Oh, no, I, grab, I pulled everything out of the... Give me that. Kick, kick, kick. Hold Take my it. stuff, actually. What the <laughs> This is all about you. You got to earn it. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's got to move a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. He just said he has to... Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Damn. I see what you're saying about all the things. Yeah. yeah. This is getting like... He's like just not putting anything out anymore, so... Shouldn't be too long of a day this time. Yeah, it should be fine. What was the problem last time? Oh no, we had another dude get on the dyno before we did, right? And we had. And we were doing on 93 and E. Yeah, Chad's car so took we were, a while, yeah. and then we had problems with the nitrous. Yeah. Your car might be like we might when it's on the dyno it might be like in, done in like 30 minutes. If everything goes nice, it's just. Yeah, he's already done so many yeah. of these things that he knows pretty yeah. much where to start out. Mm -hmm. and then just fine tune it from there. Mailbox right there, just for a moment. Don't touch the gas, just let it idle. Got red flakes. Oh, yeah. It does. It's super subtle. Probably it is kind of so subtle. Dust. It's because it's so dusty and dirty. Yeah. And the sun's not really out. Oh, somebody stole your car. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. You're an idiot. Oh, shut up. Let me lick your nip. One of the cars I work at has a Z Fever exhaust. That's a Z uh, Fever exhaust. A 300 ZX. Yeah. A 300. That's not. Um, no, no, it's not. A 300 ZX I worked on had a literally a Z Fever exhaust. He looks at he's like, when can I take this off? <laughs> Here's a guy, John, that had the nice oh, one, but yeah. then his motor popped. Oh. that had one of these when we were in high school. He didn't have a license and it wasn't registered, but he lived down my street. So we'd get off the bus and we'd go walk to his house. He'd go inside and steal the key out of his dad's room. It was his, but he wasn't supposed to be driving it. And we would literally just go drift it around the neighborhood for like an hour and then we'd have to go tuck it back away. Yeah, we didn't realize that these things were actually gonna be worth money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even pointing the camera. Bro, that yeah. camera lens, is this video is gonna look it's horrible. Fine. No, look, it looks fine. I'm looking Look at how so you dirty look at it, it is. On a computer it's screen, you and dildo. It literally looks like shirt. someone spit on it. It's Yo. fine. No, it's well, Use my shirt. I just put it on. You I watched it's Rome's funny. first video he ever posted. He looks like a retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's OEM. I don't. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't funny. like that. You know they make knockoffs, though. Well, yeah. And at first they look like a knockoff, but. I mean, you right. <laughs> you right. I mean, you I think right. this wing looks better from the front than it does from the back. Oh yeah, it looks horrible from like the back and the side. If it, it was does. like maybe moved back a couple of inches, it would actually look pretty fucking sick. Or luck. 
Borla. Can't wait to get rid of my egg though. Can we go collectively eat a small snack together after this? And Bro, I have four dollars. I used to work on these things non-stop. Mercedes? You're kind of knowing it is. This is an eight Dude, millimeter. I refuse. In order to change the oil, you're going to take yeah. all this down for eight, all these eight millimeters. This isn't normal, right? What? This is a car, so it's Stop normal. touching it, bro. It's not yours. This one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta push it? Go and put the camera down. Yeah. Right. You're helping. I like the I like the wheel. I don't think it's a spot right here. Come on, bro. Come on, Romello. Let's do it. I just slipped on the oil leak that came out of the car. That's a new car. Look at all this. This is nice. Look at this. What, this Nismo? It's got brake depthing and everything. I need to put my undershield on. Track car. Bro, let me get your undershield. How much you pay for it? Uh, 140. You still have a cat's on? I owned one of these. One of what? Hey, Here, let's go find a billet wheel. So it was a huge this one's stuff. actually pretty sick. It was a huge turd. The one it was I have. Huge turd. Hey, look! I could get a brand new wheel from here from the turbos. I'm really disappointed that my body turned out to not be Look at all this. <laughs> look at all this. We got plants growing inside of turbos. Blow up on the dyno. It, it, it smokes too much. You smoke too much. Some of these exhausts are mint, dude. I don't even know what's in here. This goes to this, right? I was looking at what this one went to. That's not a. Cause it's pretty that's long. A that's why I said I wonder what it goes to. It's probably a, no. It's too skinny to be a 300. What is this from? What company is it? This it is Motordyne. Say. This is a Motordyne. It is Motordyne. It's expensive. Dude, that thing is mint. There's literally not a problem with it. Even the V-clamps yeah, are still dude. good. Is it a wastegate spring? It's about two PSI. Here, this is these, because you're gonna need that on your way back out there. Mm-hmm. Come on, baby, go up to the What kind of dyno is this? It's a dyno jet. Dino jet. This is a low one though, unfortunately. So if you're here for numbers, this isn't what this isn't the <laughs> yeah, But it's very accurate. Yeah. It's a brand new stack and shit. I'd rather have a more accurate number. Well, alright, so there's two dinos out there that are dino just the black ones and these red ones. Uh-huh. So Chad's car made what 330 three, 333 on 334, 333 on this dyno. So that's all it made. You made that much? So we we took Another car that made 3434, I don't know, two days later, I took it to my friend's dyno, which has got the black top, the 3,000 pound roller, the smaller one. So that one reads more traditionally, I guess you could say. So this one reads less without. So 334 on this dyno was about a 351 or 352. Oh, wow. Don't they call it the heartbreaker? Like yeah, these well, dynos? These or is that the. I'm, so, I'm sorry, it was 347, 348. It was like 15, 16 horsepower split. So a 400 horsepower car on this dyno does about 420 to 425 on that dyno. This just just giving you an idea okay. roughly where okay. it is. Yeah, this this other dyno is like they call the right? uh, Mustangs. Mustang is good. Cause, yeah, because yeah, yeah. they you can load those completely wrong. So yeah. That screws everything up. But these like the 5,000 pounders are. I like them because like on boosted cars, if it's gonna ping, it's gonna ping on this dyno, not on the black one. Really. Oh, definitely. Because well, it's got to work harder. Yeah. I mean, look, Equitech has a ton of like really good knock strategy that, that 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 we utilize. But like what I've seen in the past is I've done a boosted car on a 3,000 pound dyno and then a, this dyno, and the 3,000 pound dyno will will give you a clean knock log. You go on the street, you do like a fourth gear or fifth gear, like a high gear pull. You'll get like a little bit of knock um, on this dyno. It'll simulate that much better because it's yeah, just a much much heavier load. I feel, I feel pretty solid. Oh my god. I like how they're grooved. Yeah, they're grooved. Some of them yeah. aren't grooved. Yeah, I know. Brandon's car spun on traction. Spun on these? Mm -hmm. oh, 
my god. Doesn't even sound like torque. I'm a pow bug. What's happening? Balls. Martin's probably in there like, yeah, it smells like shit. You're good! Yes, it's called turning the air on in the building, which some people um, fucking refuse to do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, want the uh, fuel pressure at? Um, give me um, 25 pounds. Yeah, that's right. 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 Oh, this is gonna be so solid. So our first tune, we're gonna set the fuel pressure right now. We're trying to set it at 51, 52 PSI, so that way we could get the first Dyna run here. Are these 1050s? Yeah, they're 1050s, yeah. Shit on them and beat the fuck out yeah, of them. And then yeah, fuck because them. that's how I lived my whole life. Quarter eBay. mile at a time? eBay. Quarter mile? <laughs> <laughs> For those 10 seconds or less? I need mean, that shit. <laughs> really cheap, and it only lasts like a couple months. Rome <laughs> fucking here spends like, you know, top dollar. Quarter I mean, I am good. getting a Vortex supercharger kit, so. Yeah, but I bet you're gonna find a way to cheat what that out. You're gonna make a bracket out of cardboard? Uh -huh. What diameter are Wait, these? what? Oh, uh, the uh, the air flow meter part. Are you talking about the intercooler pipe? Oh, or? I don't know. It's the fact. No, I think it's the factory size. We'll see. Because if it starts and dies, it's not the factory size. It should be the factory size. The intercooler piping? No. Oh, so said, like you said the meter, different. the the pipe. So like the mass airflow. If you change the diameter of the piping, then it's uh. Fuel pressure. That works! It's like 53. What's it at? Like 50? <laughs> Yeah, whoop, yeah, exactly. Well, that blow off valve technically stays open, so if you idle that thing really gently all the way to red line, it'll have full boost, but the blow off valve will stay open. It's only gonna close if you smack the throttle. Whoop, boom. It's only gonna, it only seals if you push the throttle down. Like, quick? Not quick, like, even halfway. Halfway. But if I ease into it, it'll stay open? Yes. Like you're driving on the highway, which means no power. Going 100 miles an hour at 4,000 RPM, it's just gonna blow, and you're just chilling. It's just gonna blow all the, the air from the supercharger out the blow out. The blow out is just gonna be wide open. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be blowing all the PSI out the whole time. But the second you give it a little more throttle, it'll flat close, and all the pressure will go into the engine. You gotta burn all that fuel out. <laughs>
Okay, it's okay. Well, we're gonna fix it. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> we shall fix it. He went that way. Yeah, Rome, well, that's it. I told you. No, no, Under four hundred. No, 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 no. It's gonna be no, 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 it's gonna be over four hundred for no, sure. No, no, I'm just it's just we need some timing in it now and a couple other things, so no big deal. Three good looking like curved oh, 387 and it's gonna go it's definitely gonna go up. Yeah. I just I start very, very um conservative, conservative, conservative. and then I build it up. Yeah. Timing wise I go very conservative. This is all very looking like we did we get the we got the we got all the scaling correct straight off the bat because uh with closed loop feeling on I've got what's called closed loop feeling on, uh which is a really neat feature of ECU tech. Um so basically it looks at the white bands and it makes adjustments in real time out of the traditional closed loop area, which okay. is just idling and driving around. So this is basically like I was looking at what's called the PID, which is how much uh, fuel it's pushing in or taking out. And we're within like we're within like three percent. So like our, our map scaling is 100% correct. Um, I mean, but again, I've done these kits before. Therefore, yeah. therefore we, we were in the ballpark to begin with. Uh, the only thing I have very very shallow is the timing right here, and you can see it, it looks really jaggedy. Yeah. So we'll add some timing slowly, build it in, and uh, make sure it's, it's, it's happy. And it should it should end up in the in the 400, you know, somewhere in the 400. Like I said, Solid. 425 to 450 Solid. is what you're gonna end up at. I really I really think we're gonna be over 420. 420 to 450. Not that start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At 387. That's a lot of fucking power. That's yeah. Uh, the blow up valve opened up right here, that's why it yeah. failed to continue going up. Something in and out or a boost leak. Off. Boost really? leak. Take it off the dyno. Uh, let me look at it in the wall because that's what it looks like to me. I literally just went. Peace out. I don't know. There's not a lot of couplers, so I can go yeah, through. No, 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 no. It doesn't look like it in here. So no boost leak. No. All right, write down a list. Four bar. Fresh spark plugs for the next session. We did get fresh. I plug. know, but since we've been running it so with that shitty gas, yeah, just pull one and see if it's sooted. If it's sooted, then replace all of them. Because if you had to run it for a while. But he's saying that they, they it's making it jump a little bit because it could be soot and they because we ran. You know how rich we ran those spark plugs. Not good.
So best pass, we made about 460, 459 horsepower with about 363 pound-feet of torque. Uh, this is on 93 pump without E85. Next tune, we're going to try and come here with a billet wheel. We're going to try and come here with... How's the intercooler running? Did he check the temps before? That's not bad. It can still chill at 130, right? All right. Do you want this back there? So that's good. Our air-to-air -air intercooler is doing its job. Our temps are staying at around 1... 25, 130, which is pretty solid, but a uh, pretty solid day. Tell me about the trans tune. Trans tune? Oh yeah, we got a flash tune. There's not really much you can say about that. You had to do the tr uh, flash tune, right? For the trans? It's pretty much just part of the Yeah, it's basically like a torque table that just tells it that there's more torque coming, so it firms up the line pressure. Okay. So that's just how we do it. Like, we leave it um, in the areas, like in the load areas where it's more like factory. Uh -huh. uh, so it feels like a normal transmission. We leave it pretty normal and then once I start getting into the load above you start making NA, it a little yeah. more aggressive yeah because the, the way that the uh, load scaling set up on ECU tech is, has its own internal conversion for uh, engine load versus versus what's coming into the motor so so basically we can scale it based on um, a load factor like a boost factor now cool so this running at 363 right now you said that these trans like live yeah yeah they'll, they'll be okay they'll be it should be okay on this dyno. so heavy dyno, but this, this should be okay for at least another oh uh, yeah, yeah. About, well i was gonna say because we want to bring the billet wheel but we're not sure if we should bring the nine pound pulley because i know that's huge for the supercharger yeah. I think we should do just the wheel. Just I would do the wheel over the pulley. I would no, I was going to come, see, because I don't even think I need to come. Well, I'm going to check it out for the next week, but I honestly don't think I need to come with another intercooler. Because what he was telling me, this, I get it, when, like it's when, inside here. But when we start upping the boost well, and stuff, you, boost, might, you might. Because yeah. it's going to, more boost, is more heat. Is more heat, okay. No, well, the billet wheel itself is supposed to like act as a cooler yeah yes, cooler it does. itself it's okay. keeps it keeps the heat from but i'm saying if you yeah. did like the but we're also going to eat at the same time so it's all it's gonna, gonna keep it cool too. Yeah. you don't necessarily so need it might work the out. inner cooler it just you're gonna lose power so we can come here without if it overheats power. yeah oh. Marty I mean, said it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't bad it is a cool day though so it might be a little bit different you know when once we get it get into summer oh, yeah, yeah. but right now it, it seems to be like Maximum of 130. Alright, that's solid. Am I getting in, Martin? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's cool, man. I appreciate you, Martin. No problem.
He told you we got a diff for this, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna one wheel peel just a little bit, but. Definitely gonna happen here. Yeah. My bad. Well, that was solid. Goes. Yeah, no, she's she's moving. Supercharger's so got a lot of power up top. She doesn't look like she doesn't want to stop moving either. <laughs> oh man, they feel well again. Oh wow! Sorry, I have to stay No, all, all day, all day. day. Martin, do whatever you need to do. You really, really, really. It, it, they feel like a freight train once you get get a. Uh, Get going. get going you know yeah, it just, feels like it's on rails just it's a good choice especially since you're gonna go uh flex fuel and you're gonna put yeah. a bigger, bigger pulley on here and just take care of some of the uh some of the issues just you're gonna clean be it very, up. Yeah. very very happy with, with, with what you do so and it should be decently reliable oh yeah yeah these, these are great motors boosted Today was successful. No, that Yo! If you have any funniness, like other than the idle, which we're gonna fix with the map sensor, but if you have any funniness, like, hey Martin, it cranks really long or something or whatever, I don't know, something that would come up, you can log through your phone. Brandon will show you how to use this. Okay. You can change maps by holding down cancel. See how it pops up yep. the one, two array? Just don't do eight, eight is valet. But one or two, one is with uh, without fire, two is with fire and pops, okay? So two is with fire, one is without. Yep, you hold down cancel hard, and then you can select which one you want. So two is with fire and pops. So much and then I just press, okay. press cancel when I'm done? Yeah, if you go to eight and hit cancel, it enables uh, valet mode. The so it's just slow? It's gonna be slow. If it feels like it's unnaturally slow, go to eight again and hit cancel. Okay. Because like the valet is like an on-off switch. You have okay. to go to eight to turn it on, and you have to go back to eight to turn it off. Okay. No matter what map you, it says you're in, if you enable it on eight, you have to disable it again. Okay, with but with the other maps, I don't have to do that. Right? No, 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 no. It's just and so it'll turn on. on on the map I left it on. Right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It's so much cooler. I know it's so much cooler than the road. And then I'll show you how to use the phone thing real awesome. quick as well. Oh, yeah, oh my god!